I have no clue when this began, but these ducks legit live in my backyard at this point. It's this one, and I don't know where the other one just went, but I don't, I don't understand. I'm not really upset because they're not attacking my plants. <clears throat> That's a whole nother story. But yeah, every like either morning and night they pay a visit. It's like usually four of them. I believe this is the male one. <laughs> okay. So inside my window seal, right in the living room area, I have like this fake me out greenhouse. <laughs> situation going on so i clip the ends like that and then i put them in the dirt like face up so like this way and i think they said well i'm sure they said it's supposed to be like one inch down and i cover it with dirt and then i just water it and then they have like this little vent area they give you these so you can write the dates and the what it is and then you just put this on top and then it just heats up pretty much but you have to water it hello everyone this is naturally pumpkin if you are new to my channel hello welcome to the pumpkin patch we discuss home decor tips and hacks for gardening my gardening adventure and of course spooky things mm. <laughs> now obviously if you all seen there are spooky items and halloween items and even fall things in the stores now so like i said if you're new here definitely tune in if you're interested in those kind of things i also do blogs y'all can join me on these adventures of my trial and errors especially when it comes to gardening so i have not been gardening that long i have been gardening since hmm like the end of December and it is now June. So like roughly six months, I don't know it all. I just do my research and then I also follow a couple pages that give me tricks, hacks and what you can do. But recently I have been having a grasshopper infestation. I caught a grasshopper trying to bite the stem of my god darn zucchini. Now, obviously, if it bites the stem of it, it will just demolish the plant, clearly. Like, it has, it was the main stem. It wasn't like it was a leaf, it was the main stem. So, I've been trying to figure out what to do to get rid of grasshoppers. Obviously, they're winning, clearly. And I, I just, I don't know. It's like, at first I had ants <laughs> that would eat the sap of everything. Then I still had like, you know, the aethans and stuff underneath and I had to spray with neem oil and then neem oil starts getting costly. Like I'm trying to find all these hacks. Are they working? Some of them are. I still have produce, but it's just, I feel like I'm making sacrificial plants now for them to eat. And then I have my own. So that is what's going on. The incubator greenhouse mini contraption. My review on that is I don't like the fact that it just kind of like sits there. It doesn't grab and it's not clipping underneath. It just does this. Even though I have them on a the windowsill, I taped it against the window because obviously I have a three-year-old who will just go wham, wham. And I don't have time. <laughs> I don't have time. Current updates. My child is here today because he decided he wanted to take forever to get ready for school. So now he is here. We have to be there at nine and we didn't make it. So I wasn't even going to try to rush. Husband is here today. He had a watch last night. He's very tired. I'm currently in school for my bachelor's in Spanish. I already have a bachelor's in communication. It has been interesting. My Spanish classes will not start until this fall. And I am currently doing an American history class, which has been crazy. I'm learning about history that also happened while I was around. Now that is new. For instance, do you know they have Obama? Obama in the history book. I thought that was just like, I was in a twilight zone, like doo -doo 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 -doo. Most of the stuff that I have learned in history, I never experienced, like that I can recall. They have uh, September 11th in there. I remember, like 
the chaos. I wasn't there when like in the actual places of the chaos, but I remember the after effect of it. I remember I was in sixth grade and all of a sudden I just kept hearing names all over the intercom. Hey, report down to the, the principal's office, report down to the prison's office for early dismissal. Da, 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 da. And yes, thank God I was one of those people <laughs> who got called because I heard there was a lot of people who didn't, who did not get called and they had to stay there until the buses came. And, and I felt real bad, but yeah, it was like bomb darts everywhere. Crazy, the fact that I'm reading this in the history book Oh my God, it just made me feel old. I'm not even that old. I'm still in my 30s. Like, I just think that's crazy. But yes, full circle. I'm still waiting for my Shein package so I can do my haul. These are the nails that I got from them. Sorry if I'm ashy. Oh, look, they are ashy. I might be ashy. It's in the morning. Good morning. Is you up? Y'all noticed like I have a new do. It's a wig. It's a wig. And sure enough, when this camera comes off, I'm I'm snatching it off. Cause it's hot. I'm in Florida. We've been getting a hundred degrees. I'm dying. I feel like I have a hat on. I'm trying to be cute. Period. But it's hot. <laughs> Stay tuned for more to come. Bye. Hi. What's your name? Yes, it is. You get back up. Mm -hmm. What in the world? See you. So we are going to make lunch for Tristan. I see one day and two Say hi. Hi. Here you go. Put it in your plate. Put it up. Nope. Turn it up. There you go. One. Mm -hmm. And what's that? Count. One, two. Good job. Yes, I could give him a little bit of mayo, but I don't have any mayo. I'm going to put a little bit here, just a little bit, and just a little bit. And I want you to take your knife. Here you go. Ready? Can you do it? Let's turn this way. Ready? Can you hold it? I'm going to hold it for you. Can you do that? Mmm, just a little teeny bit. So I'm going to slice the cheese. Here you go. Put it on one side. Good job. Here you go. Right here. Good job. Here go. Put it right here. Right here. Good job. And then you take this and you put it on top. Put it on top of here. Right there. Good job. And you push down. Push down. Good job. All right. So next. Usually we do veggie sticks, but. We got some. Can you can take some, take some out. Can you get it? And put it on your plate. One. And then you have some applesauce. Your hand dirty. Wait, wait, wait. Here you go. Here's your napkin. Clap your hands. Uh oh. Okay. And then this one is apple strawberry. Apple strawberry. Mmm. Mm. Yummy. And then we need some. You want some orange juice? Are you ready? No, I'll be juice. It's orange juice. Uh oh. You ready? Yeah, fall down. Are you ready? Can you help? You help me? You ready? Good job. Go ahead, pour it in there. Pour, pour, pour. Keep going, look. Can you see? Mmm. What's it look like? So this morning, we went over our numbers, our alphabet, we sung some songs. Yes, and now it's time for lunch. After lunch, he is taking a nap. <laughs> I still try to get him to take a nap 12 to 2. That's what they do at daycare. So today is a daycare day, technically school day. So he will be following his routine. Okay? Okay. I got a new note. I got a new This is how hot it is. Do y'all see 
the rim like everything's drying up oh my gosh that's a turtle oh yeah i probably scared it there's a turtle in the corner well you can see the water moving but there was a turtle over there and there's birds but y'all see the whole it's like drying up it does this every year but it's the fact that it's only june it's gonna get worse we need some rain oh that's so sad uh -oh. the hundred um hybrid tomatoes they're blooming well they have flowers so they're doing well the bell peppers are doing well as you can see tons and tons of flowers and yes i could be thinning them but can you see it oh come on but i'm probably not because they're gonna fall off anyway see this is y'all see it y'all see it y'all see this and they're just sitting there eating it and they said okay so you're gonna say like oh what's this white stuff it's powder not powder what is it called all-purpose flour and it says when they eat it it's gonna make them not want to eat them again but you can see the stupid grasshopper no matter what i do i haven't been killing them and leaving them there just for them to know like hey get away they don't care i'm gonna get that this is my infestation of pumpkin <laughs> eggplants over here are doing well I feel like this is trying to push out an eggplant let me tell you it's so hard to grow these kind of things in the heat like it's so hot me just being out here I'm already struggling but Rosa it's just like I have to keep hiding it behind something if I can just grow it inside and leave it inside I don't know I gotta figure it out like turn my office like part of it into like a i don't know like a greenhouse or something why not grow your own food like these are my tomatoes from my garden yes and then my lettuce obviously it's a mixture of char romaine and um i think it's like lola i think it's lola rosa i always say that wrong but obviously this is just regular chicken <laughs> Because I'm not killing no edibles out here. <laughs> like, but these are the other ones. I need to go pick some more from the garden. But I use this dressing, avocado lime branch. Not a lot. I know it's sweet. And then I use Polynesian sauce. I know. Very, very sweet. But this, this is what I eat. <laughs> I absolutely love tortilla chips more than croutons. I'm not sure. Maybe because they're like thinner. I feel like croutons sometimes be trying to break your goddamn teeth. <laughs> Who's that? It, it's it's Teddy. No, that's tr that's you. That's Tristan Palm. Mm, no, it's Teddy. It's not Teo. It's Tristan. Look, that's Tristan. Mm. Hey, you the palm. That's mm. just the palm. Mm. Who's this? Who's this then? Who's, who's this? It's three dogs and three tinted palm. This Tristan palm? But this not Tristan palm? You know the tinted palm. Who is that? No, not the tinted palm. Who is it? It's Taylor. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I am in Target. If you don't recognize the shelves and the background, and look, look what I found. Look what I found. I put a spell on you. Hey, and now you're mine. Hey, 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 hey. Two hundred and twenty-nine. But look at this, y'all. The details the vacuum cleaner i cannot the house with the chimney and the smoke like uh, that's so funny <laughs> it's happening <laughs> they also have ghostbusters down here I'm trying to get close without being weird <laughs> Give it to daddy. Thank 
Ooh. Oh. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. Hey, 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 hey. My friend Tristan. Ho, ho, ho. Whenever, wherever. Thanks for always being there. Love you, Dad. Have a happy Father's Day. Yeah, hopefully we find some Halloween. My dad is on another level. Hey. Let's see if they fail me today, y'all. It's my spooky cup today. That's Tyler and Tristan. Sadly, our Father's Day might be interrupted because the military might need him to go in for watch again. And this is like his third watch this week. Yeah. He gotta get out. Cause this is ridiculous. My poor BB. I can see it. I can see it. They're still unloading as we speak, but look. Look. Oh my goodness. So they have it like fixtures ready and they're putting out the stuff now but definitely not anything that i can think of i'm gonna see if they have stuff on the shelves it's backwards y'all but it's here then this huge 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 skull they have this bow this material 17.99 Got the skeleton on the side, just chilling. So they are putting up stuff now, finally, and I would have to come back maybe like next week to see if they have anything else because she's actively putting stuff out, but I don't understand why this store took so long to put stuff out. Like, everybody else has things out, but okay, okay. Zero out of 10. So I was talking to this lady that was in there and she was saying that she came in for the groundbreaker and they have already sold these things before they even put it out. Like, why is this at home taking so long to put this stuff out? And then people just like standing by like, oh, let me just get all of them at this point. So I didn't even get to see the groundbreaker yet because people are also literally standing by to get it because they're taking so long what's happening now we're off to books a million so i can get some creepy books my favorite book right now is hidden pictures and i kind of want something that's along those lines so we're definitely heading over and i will share with y'all what we get pretty much So when they do not give you your decor in at home, you can just go to Books A Million. Cause at this point, look at this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cause definitely at this point, I'm looking anywhere. Yes, yeah, Camp Crystal Lake. So I got four books and I'm gonna talk about them just a little bit. The first book I got was The Silent Patient by Alex McKinley. I think that's how you say it. Hold on, let me show you. So the book looks like Alicia Bernstein's life is seemingly perfect until one night when her husband Gabriel returns home late from work. Alicia shoots him five times in the face and then never speaks another word. Alicia's refusal to talk or give any kind of explanation, explanation turns a domestic tragedy into a mystery that captures the public imagination. And she, the silent patient, is hidden away from the tabloids at the Grove in North London. And so on and so on. I'm excited to read this book. Next book is Agatha Christie Halloween Party. Boom, boom definitely heard tons about Agatha Christie this is my first book um, from her I have seen uh, Haunting in Venice but I actually seen the movie 
um, which I heard she wrote it, and that was amazing. Amazing. At a Halloween party, Joyce, a hostile 13 year old, voice that she once witnessed a murder. When no one believes her, she, she storms off home, but within hours, her body is found still in the house, drowned in an apple bobbing tub. That night, Hercule is called in to find the evil presence, but first, he must establish whether he is looking for a murderer or double murderer. It sounds like the hunting of Venice, but we're gonna see. Cause I, I guess it's at a Halloween party, so we're gonna see. The next book I have is called The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager. This is what the book looks like. Two truths and a lie. Vivian, Natalie, Allison, and Emma played it all the time at Camp Nightingale, but the games ended the night. Emma sleepily watch the other sneak out of the cabin into the darkness. The last she or anyone saw of them was Vivian's closing the cabin door, hushing Emma with a finger pressed to her lips. Now, a rising star in New York are seen. Emma turns her past into paintings, massive canvases filled with dark, gnarled branches that cover ghostly shapes and white dresses. When the paintings catch the attention of the wealthy owner of Camp Nightingale, Francesca implores Emma to return to the newly reopened camp as an art instructor. Wouldn't she like to put the past to rest? Familiar faces in the same dark lake haunts Nightingale, where Emma is even assigned to the same cabin she slept in 15 years ago, but not everything is the same. The only security camera is pointed directly at Emma's door, and long hidden cryptic clues that Vivian left behind begin to surface. Soon Emma finds herself sorting through lies from the past while facing mysterious threats in the present. And the closer she gets to the truth about Camp Nightingale, the more she realizes that closure could come at a deadly price. Ooh. Last but not least, the book called Lock Every Door by Riley Sager, also the same author as previous. This is what the book looks like. After responding to a mysterious newspaper advertisement, Mrs. Lawson gets a job as an apartment sitter at the Bartholomew one of the Manhattan's most famous and secretive buildings. At first, the extravagance of the building feels like a lucky break for recently heartbroken and penniless Jewels, which is Mrs. Larson, who has been haunted by misfortune for most of her life. But when a fellow apartment sitter in the building goes missing, Jewels, or Jules, begins to suspect there are dark forces at work behind this building gl uh, glamorous facade. Digging deeper into the building's past, Jules soon realizes that this building is more dangerous than she thought and that escape may be impossible. And I also needed a bookmark, so I got me a dagger. That is all for this week. We are gonna go home, we're gonna relax. You can see Tristan over there peeking somewhere, but I hope you all have a great Father's Day weekend, and I hope to see y'all next time. Bye.